Here are nine outfits I plan on wearing this spring. I think they're all pretty easy and wearable, but it's a little chilly in Tokyo, so I'll definitely be adding outerwear like this brown jacket I thrifted or my boyfriend's black puffer jacket. But with that out of the way, let's get on to the outfits. Theme one, all black. Black can feel a little heavy for spring, which is why I jumped at the chance to buy this black lace top from a Japanese brand called Frey ID. The lace of this top reminds me of a floral print without being a floral print. <laughs> I think it's very sexy and very chic and here are a couple of outfits of me styling this top. First I have this top paired with this pair of bell bottom black jeans from Mousy and an old pair of loafers from Rienda. Next, I've just added this black top from Estination that I thrifted. It's a little big, but I think I can make it work. It's supposed to be worn this way front, but I absolutely love the twisted detail on the back. So I chose to wear it backwards to show that detail off. It kind of reminds me of the cutout trend, but not as severe. Last, I've added this Guns N' Roses t-shirt that I also thrifted. I don't listen to Guns N' Roses, but I really love the band's logo, so I, I'm just gonna wear it. Uh, I just think that like graphic tees are a really good layering piece, and with the black top, I think it gives a more casual vibe for the overall outfit. Theme two, all white. My main piece for this set of outfits is this long cream maxi dress from the Japanese brand Resexy. I got it last year and it's so soft and light and perfect for layering in spring and summer. My first look is this dress and a kind of light cover up top dress thing I also got from Resexy. This outfit is definitely for a warm spring day and I probably won't be able to wear it until the end of the season. I think the outfit as a whole is quite dreamy since it almost resembles a nightgown. The next look is the same dress but with this skirt from Alluge. I really like the layering here and how the dress peeks out from underneath the skirt. On top, I've put on this gorgeous top from Tomorrowland. The fabric has a light shimmer to it and I like the twisted detail on the front. It also ticks off the sheer trend box for me. On top of everything, I put on this creamy, almost yellow cardigan from One Way that I bought a couple of years ago. I think the cardigan makes the whole look very, very feminine. For the last look, I simply put on this oversized cream denim jacket that I got from Emoda. It changes the look from feminine to a more casual vibe. Theme 3, cool and casual. This set of looks are styled around this pair of jeans I got on sale from Zara about a year ago. They're the 90s full length jeans and I really like them because they're high waisted and it's a wide leg cut that isn't too wide, basically. So go ahead and wear them with your favorite graphic tee and maybe make the outfit more interesting with your choice of accessories. I usually like to wear them with dress shirts. I've noticed that in Japan, it seems like striped dress shirts are kind of popular this spring. Um, I've been seeing them everywhere across social media. The one I have is a little dark for the aesthetic, but I really love it and I don't want to buy another dress shirt when I already have one. I usually wear it like this, but if you're feeling daring, you can wear a crop top or a bralette inside instead of a normal cami. And those are all nine outfits. This is my first time making a lookbook and I realized that I'm definitely missing some pieces in my wardrobe, like sweaters, cardigans, and outerwear. Um, but what are you all excited to wear this spring? Leave a comment down below and maybe I'll see you in the next video.